so this video is really long overdue and I'm really sorry about that but today I'm going to talk about how I studied for quarter one of nursing school. My quarter one of nursing school consisted of health assessment and pathophysiology and topics of nursing which is like an online class and that was mostly ba uh, discussion based and we, she gave us a study guide and I would just study her study guide and then take her exams and the study guide kind of related to the exams which was really helpful that she gave us the study guide to go off of and to study that. So for health assessment, like I, we had health assessment lecture and we had like health assessment lab which is where we learned all the assessments like a head to toe and all the system assessments as well. Each week we would go over like a specific system and then in lab we would do the assessment of that system as well so I think that was really helpful learning about it and then doing the assessment like correlating them together but I literally have like all of my notes and my packets from that quarter so starting off with health health assessment like this for that first quarter they gave us like packets of the lectures and in those they just gave us packets of all of the lectures and normally i'm not the type of person to print out my powerpoints and write on them but since they were given to me i just did them normally in my other undergrad i would just write on notebook paper but i've been figuring like figuring out what works for me and for this quarter i kind of figured out what's the best without using a bunch of paper printing out and yeah so anyways they would just give us all these packets and what i liked to do let's see if i can find one real quick so for example what i love to do i took this from your nursing educator she's on instagram if you want to check her out i keep saying this because um i've used this for the past two quarters and it's helped me a lot take notes so i will take notes on my ipad and then i will convert it into my own version so but for quarter one this is what i did i just took the powerpoint i took notes on the printed out sheet and then i would convert it into a word doc and then i would just highlight right here there's a highlight and like add in i don't think this is a really good example because i didn't write in on a lot on this one let's see if i can find one okay so here's a cardiovascular one i would like write in stuff and um like here it's black and then it's purple so that means this is the stuff i wrote from on my powerpoint and i put it into word and just did, made it a different color so i can see that was my notes and if i read through the book and then i'd add in my own little things like here i put in pen so that helped me a lot and then i'd read through this and make sure I understand how it works, how each system works as well. And then I would also use my whiteboard. I would write out like information that I knew and then keep going back, looking through my notes and see what I wasn't understanding and read the book. Reading the book helped a lot for me. There would be times where I misread and forget to read and then I'd be like, why didn't I do well on that test? It was because I didn't read the book. For my check off, what I did here, let me pull it up on my iPad. So on my iPad, I use GoodNotes and I have each folder and like right here, I have quarter one and quarter two. So obviously I'm in quarter two right now. So I'm using that folder, but I'm going into quarter one and I'm going into my health assessment folder. And then I made a lab assessment folder as well. And on Google Docs, I would type up like a script for my um, check off. So here is the abdominal one. I would go through be like, okay, I have to, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of hard, but I would just literally make a script. I would swipe in any interview questions you have before like um, starting the assessment and then get into the assessment of like the um, IPPA or for abdomen it's IAPP. So that kind of helped me really helped me a lot so like memorizing the script and then practicing it on somebody in my house so i practiced on griffin a lot he was my patient <laughs> but just writing out the script and just like looking through it and reading over it helped me do the assessment and that helped me a lot with my um check off at the end and just like correlating it back to the lecture helped me want to be like oh like what are the spots i have to listen to so just like correlating back and forth helped a lot and then for my school we had to do like case studies and um 
EAQs and just going through those EAQs, help, EAQs helped me a lot too because it would like give me like pre questions and then also in the back of I think it was our lab book for health assessment there was study guide questions just like questions like kind of like the way my professor would ask them so I feel like for me reviewing other reviewing questions helps me understand the material better like I have to constantly take like practice practice test or like quizzes or something like reviewing them because I then I'll be like okay that's how like that question would be worded in that way so that helped me a lot for health assessment that was kind of like all jumbled just because it's like I felt like it was just kind of pretty straightforward like this is what you need to know and then uh, just reviewing the lecture like understanding like how the system works is very important for health assessment and like correlating it to the actual assessment so for now patho I got this big hefty stack and patho was tough. It was really intense. There's a lot of information to know for patho, which is it's pathophysiology. I just call it short patho for short. And as well, they give us printed out lectures. I would take notes on that. And then at first I started doing like my notes this way, like making my own study guide. I would say like, this is for cell biology, like mitochondria, and then I put on the, this is like kind of like a mini Cornell notes. So how I was saying like mitochondria on one side and then like the definition, and then just like specific information about it. Like, but like, I would just make my own questions sometimes too, like what is mitochondria? What is this? Or how does this work? And then I'd explain my answer. So I started doing that for the first, half of the quarter. I liked it, but it just was taking so much time and I just, my eyes were hurting and um, just staring at the computer screen for so long was just like, oh, this is not working out for me. So then towards like halfway through, this is when I found your nursing educators um, conversion from a PowerPoint to like a Word doc. And like I said before in my health assessment, this is what I did as well. This one is a little bit more intense. I would listen to his lectures like twice or maybe three times if I had time, write my notes, write what I wrote when um, we had lecture, like live lecture, and then I'd go back and re-listen to it and like see any material that I missed and I'd write it down. So this is a good example. Like I have what I typed in, um, in a different color and then I'd write in stuff over here and that is from re-watching it so I did that a lot and I just made my notes that way for example here is the hemopatho and I would just go in and just write my own stuff and make my notes this way and then I would go in and just write it down a bunch of times just constantly writing it down I feel like for me writing it down many times helps me comprehend it and understand it better and also you have to know like the how in like why it works not just like what is this or which one is this like it's more of like explaining how like a system works or something works in the body you have to understand the how and why of it so our professor said don't read the book it's not going to help you but there's sometimes i would be, like kind of be confused on information and i go into the book and find it and I'd be like oh that kind of clears it up a little bit because our book i guess the book was written for like med student level and we're obviously nursing students so he's like just don't read it um but sometimes it would help me so if you have a path of book and your professor is recommending to read it make sure you read it because it can help you understand how things work um, better a better way for you so i would just constantly write out things multiple times as much as i could and make sure i understood it because patho is like a huge point like it's very helpful when you get to farm because farm you go over like medications of like hormones and like you have to know how like the hormone works and all this stuff in the body so i'm glad i took patho during nursing school because since i got to farm i it was still fresh in my mind from last quarter i was able to understand the drugs a lot better too so i guess that is how i studied um i'm just the type of person who always writes down on a whiteboard i just need to write it multiple times and make sure I understand it very well. This works for me. It may not work for all of you. So if you're going to try it, try it. But if it doesn't work for you, you might need to mix things up. Try to see what type of learner you are. I'm a visual learner. So visually seeing things helps me understand it. If you're an auditory learner, make sure you listen to the lectures like multiple times because then you list hearing it multiple times will help you comprehend it better. Um, so yeah, you just have to figure out what type of learner you are and what works best for you. I know this is longer video and my second quarter is almost done, which I'm super excited about. I've been working so hard in quarter two with farm and foundations, but honestly, I found what works. I think each quarter is kind of different. Kind of you have to figure out what works for what the class is. So for farm, I had to mix things up and I figured out what worked for me and I've been doing really well. So it's just up to the person and how they want to do things. It's writing it out multiple times 
hyping it up. I hope this kind of helped you guys. I feel like it was just a jumble for this, this quarter, that quarter. Um, it's been a while since I took it, so I'm sorry that it took me a while to record this video of how to study for patho and health assessment, but we didn't have a HESI in patho, we just had a HESI in health assessment. I just looked over her PowerPoint that she had at the end, which was like a study, kind of like a study guide. She just had like every information we needed to know for the HESI, and I just went through that multiple times and took multiple practice exams, and I did pretty good on it. So do what works for you, figure it out, and I hope this helps you guys take some tips from me. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was kind of jumbled. I'm really sorry but if you have any study tips that helped you throughout nursing school make sure you comment them down below just so other people can see too more the more helpful tips you guys have to share with everybody can also help me and just other subscribers so yeah hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit like and subscribe quarter two is almost done so i'll have a how i studied for farm and foundations up shortly too so i will see you in my next video Bye.